Is your Mac consistently telling you that you're running low on hard drive space? Um, if it is, do you know where to start to look so that you can get rid of those pesky files? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to download Omni Disk Sweeper, a free application that can help you scan your hard drive. I'm going to walk you through how to use the tool so you can find out where those pesky files are located on your computer. And lastly, we'll go through some tips on how to prevent those files from accumulating and things that you can do to avoid them altogether. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chris and on this channel, I like to review tech so that I can give you the information that you need to optimize your digital life and save you some time and money. Let's get into the tutorial now. So the first thing you want to do is to download Omni Disk Sweeper. Um, so the way you can do that is just go to Google, search Omni Disk Sweeper. It's made by the Omni Group, so Omni Disk Sweeper is for Mac only. Uh, there are similar applications that you can use on Windows, um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to focus on the Mac. Once you go to the site, you want to download the latest one. Um, and once you download that, I usually just save to my downloads folder, go through the, the process to install the app, and you should be good. Uh, once you install the application, what you want to do is open it first, and what you'll see is all of the connected drives that you have to your computer. So here I have my Macintosh hard drive, and I also have my Samsung T5 drive. So typically what you're, what you're going to want to clean out is your Macintosh hard drive. So you'll see here, I have 25.5 gigabytes free, but this was after I did this process. Um, before this, I had like one or two gigabytes free and I needed to figure out where to start deleting files off my hard drive. So the first thing I did is just click the drive and what it's gonna do, it's gonna start scanning your drive. So depending on how big your hard drive is and uh, what your RAM looks like, um, the timing is gonna take a while. Um, but basically what the app is doing is just analyzing your hard drive and just figuring out where all of your stuff is sitting. So I'll go ahead and fast forward through this and we'll come back whenever it's done scanning my entire hard drive. All right, looks like we're back. So it scanned my hard drive and it's Pretty interesting, it says that my hard drive right now has 82.8 gigabytes, uh, but it says here 93 gigabytes have been used. So, not sure what's going on there, but nevertheless, I just wanted to walk through how the application works. So, on the left side, you'll see that you have all of your different files and uh, folder structures, and it'll tell you how much uh, space is being taken up by each one of these folders. So. The big chunk of the storage on my computer is in my users folder and of course you have your applications, your system, your library, folders, stuff like that. So whenever I'm doing this exercise I like to go to applications first um, just because I want to see what applications are taking up the most space on my computer um, and this is also one of the easier uh, things to clean up. So if you're not using an application anymore you can always delete it or uninstall it, and that's a really quick way to free up some space. So of course, Final Cut, Adobe, Photoshop, um, a lot of these creative applications are taking up a lot of space. And then we have our Google Chrome application, and of course, and um, you see that a lot of these applications are taking up a little bit less than a uh, gigabyte. And I've gone through a lot of these applications already, and a lot of these I actually use. Um, so I'm at a point right now where I'm okay keeping all of these applications here. Uh, the next place I look at is library. Um, so something that I've seen here is um, application support. So a lot of these applications that I have installed on my computer actually have additional files stored to support whatever it is they're doing. So Adobe has a big chunk, Logic has a big chunk, Final Cut has a a big chunk so a lot of these things I personally I just don't like to mess with them uh, I'm not sure what they're doing and if I go in here and I delete some of these files I don't know how that's going to impact how the application works so I'm just going to leave this here you see here we have a folder for desktop pictures um, again I'm just gonna leave this here it's not really bugging me that much um, system so if we go to system library um, speech so this seems like just like a lot of system files and of course whenever you're running any computer any operating system um, a portion of the storage on your hard drive is always going to be dedicated to system files so 
I'm thinking this is what this is. I don't want to mess with it, so I'm just going to leave that there. And next we go to users. After going to applications and all of these users is probably where you're going to go the most often to delete files. So when I go to users, I have my user. Um, if you have a shared computer at home, um, you might have different types of users or different users for each member of the family. So if that's the case, you might see multiple users here. This is my personal laptop, so this is just my user. So if I click on my user, uh, okay, we start to see where a lot of the space is being taken up. So music, uh, I have a really small iTunes library. Uh, these are songs that I've uh, purchased or downloaded and they're not on Spotify or anything like that. So I'm just gonna leave those there. Uh, pictures so right now my Lightroom library is taking up most of my space and this is because I'm using uh, Lightroom uh, the creative cloud version so that it syncs um, on my iPad and on my iPhone so that 2.6 gigabytes represents that library and I'm okay leaving it there um, but before I did have my photos library it was taking up around 10 gigabytes worth of space um, so what I did is I went to the Photos app and I deleted all of my pictures there because I use Google Photos to back up all of my photos. And I know that those photos are already backed up on Google, so no need to keep them on my hard drive. Um, so instead of deleting them from here, I just used OmniDisk Sweeper as uh, kind of like a guide to let me know, okay, this had 10 gigabytes. So instead of deleting the files here, I opened the Photos app and deleted all of the pictures from there. Uh, just to prevent me from deleting anything that I shouldn't be deleting from here. Uh, next up is Google Drive. So I do use Google Drive and I do sync some of my folders on my uh, desktop with Google Drive online. Um, I've already gone in here and I've reviewed all of the folders that are being synced and I'm fine with the folders that are there so there's no need to delete anything here. So if I wanted to delete anything in here, I would click on the folder and then hit trash can and it'll delete it for me. Uh, the next one and the one that was taking up a lot of space here was library and a lot of this is just um, a lot of cache files for a lot of the applications so if i go into cache here you'll see that like adobe camera raw has 1.5 gigabytes worth of cache and spotify has more than a gigabyte worth of cache so but yeah like i mentioned before just wanted to give you an overview of the tool how it works it's really going to be dependent on how you use your computer and where your files are me being that i'm showing you this after i've done it um, my computer has already been a little cleaned up so not a lot for me to delete here but you'll be able to find stuff on your computer figure out where those files are and if you need to delete them you can delete them or if you need to back them up somewhere on the cloud you know where they are so that you can transfer them easily so now what i want to do is walk you through how to avoid accumulating these types of files on your computer by using web apps and for this example i'm going to use spotify and walk you through how to create a web app for spotify and what i want to do here is i'm going to um, go to settings and I'm using Brave, the Brave browser, but if you're using Google Chrome, then is, this might be similar. Um, but what I want to do is go to more tools and I want to create a shortcut. And I'm going to call it Spotify and I want to open this as a window. And what's going to happen here is, um, depending on your browser, it's going to create an app. And what's cool about that app is that it opens up in its own window and it looks just like Spotify. So what I'm going to do, log into my Spotify account, and there we go. I have a web app, so this isn't the Spotify app that's downloaded on my computer. This is as if I had it open in a tab in my browser, but it um, really behaves the same. And to be honest, a lot of Mac apps are just this. They're just web apps that are packaged in a way to uh, let you download it from things like the App Store or the Mac App Store. Um, so what I'm able to do here is I'm just able to interact with it uh, the same way I would the Spotify desktop app. And if I have any connected speakers in my network, like I'll be able to do the same thing. So it's not that big of an issue. And by doing this, you're reducing the amount of storage an application like Spotify would take up. It's as if you're running this in a browser, but it's disguised as its own app. And what's really cool about this is um, whenever you create a shortcut like this, it's saved under your browser apps folder. So right now it's saved as a, bra a Brave browser app. But if you were using Google Chrome, it would be saved under Chrome browser apps. And what's cool here is that I can 
drag this down to my dock and it's like Spotify never really it's like I never really uninstalled Spotify if I were to click here it would open in the web app and I'm ready to go so you can do this with um, many apps that you might use online um, especially anything that uh, anything that you could access online that also has a Mac app per se so here I have notion installed notion has its own Mac app but you could do the same thing with the web app YNAB is a budgeting app that I use um, so for this one there is no uh, Mac app um, but what I'm able to do is log into it on my browser and create a shortcut for it that basically makes it feel like it's an app on my computer, uh, which is really cool. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up there. I just wanted to make this quick video, just show you how to download OmniDisk Sweeper, how to use it to scan your computer to see where all of these large files are stored, and uh, just give you a tip in using web apps so that you don't have to download all of those cluttered uh, applications onto your desktop. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, leave a comment down below and we can have a discussion and just talk about these types of things. So really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.